Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So if you can see by the title, I will be discussing my winter routine and also to give y'all some tips on how to combat hair dryness, especially during these harsh winter months. I typed up a nice long list on my phone so I would not forget. So I'm going to put that on silent, okay. So first, I'm going to talk about my winter routine. So my winter routine is pretty simple. Um, let's see. I don't shampoo my hair as frequent as I would in the fall time or the spring time or the summer time. Um, shampooing your hair too often in the winter can really dry your hair out. Um, just for me, I shampoo probably every one and a half weeks just to stretch it out because I normally shampoo my hair once a week. But now I stretch out to every one and a half weeks. I do co-wash more often in the winter time just so that my hair can retain moisture, the natural oils. That's just what I do. It works for me. And, um, I mean, I, my hair isn't really dry, you know, as dry in the winter because I don't co-wash often. Um, I try to make sure that I use heavy moisturizing butters my favorite butters that I use is the um, <coughs> I'm sorry um, one of my favorite butters to use is the Camille Rose Almond Jai Twisting Butter that's perfect for twist outs braid outs even wash and goes and y'all know I don't do none of that I'm just a wash and go type of person so I use the Almond Jai Butter for you know by wash and goes, it's very heavy, it's very moisturizing, it helps seal in that moisture and keep it there for a few days, so that's that. Um, okay, co-washing, co-washing more often. Um, I know some of y'all are kind of like, eh, I don't like to co-wash. I feel like, you know, what would you rather do, shampoo the whole time in the winter? I just, it's just not a, it's just not a good benefit. So, I recommend co-washing more often, but still also shampooing your hair. Um, like I said, I stretch it out every one and a half weeks, and I co-wash in between, and it's been working for my hair this winter. I do wash and goes all year round, even when it's cold as shit. When it's, when you step outside and your curls are frozen. I haven't had that happen this year because our, this winter has been really, really warm, but yeah. So that's pretty much my routine. Oh, and I deep condition once a week for 45 minutes. I used to do 20 to 30 minutes in like the spring and whatever, but in the winter time, I deep condition for 45 minutes with my hot head cap. Um, I, can, I will post a link in the description box where you can buy one. It's perfect for traveling. It's perfect for just something to pop in the microwave and put on your head. It's just, I, it's very, it's very beneficial. So that's what I do. So I shampoo less often. I co-wash more. Use moisturizing heavy butters and creams. And I deep condition for extra 15 minutes. And that's how i just been doing my routine. So, like I said on my phone, I have some tips on how to combat, uh, you know, dry scalp. And this may be helpful to some of you. Some of y'all are probably like, uh, whatever. But this may be helpful to somebody. So, like I said, shampooing too frequent will cause your hair to not only dry out in the wintertime, but also dry out. In general you know shampooing is meant to clean your scalp it's not meant to just do every day and I do know some naturals who do shampoo their hair every day it's just it just it please do not shampoo shampooing too frequent is just not a good thing um, not doing the lock method if you don't know what the lock method is some do the leave-in oil cream and some do the liquid cream and oil I do the liquid oil cream and gel I add the gel you know just to I add the gel just to hold my curl definition I'm just a gel girl another is um, product buildup if you're doing your wash and go and you notice like that white film and that white little chunky build you know chunkiness on your hair strands and it those little tiny flaky white particles that's product buildup please clarify your hair because you're just piling a shit ton of stuff on your hair and you're not getting the desired uh, results if you aren't clarifying. So clarify your hair once a month in order to have a health healthy hair, you have to have a clean scalp. You know what I mean? Another one could be the climate that you live in. That plays a very important role on why your hair is dry. Um, your overall hair regimen, like 
you know, how you maintain your hair. Like, my regimen is pretty simple. My regimen is on a schedule. Um, like, my regimen, I shampoo once a week or every one and a half weeks. Um, I deep condition once a week with heat. I trim when needed. I don't trim. I'm not on a set schedule with a trim, but I try to be. I trim every three to five months. That just works for me because I don't want to trim my growth. You know what I mean? So, um... If you're sleeping on cotton, if you're still sleeping on a cotton pillowcase, I'm going to fight you. You need a silk or satin pillowcase with a satin bonnet or turban or scarf, whatever you want to call it, or silk. Please do not be sleeping on no cotton pillowcase. Please don't. It's just overall your hair regimen may be the reason why your hair is dry. So, you know, think about that. And also, you may not be drinking enough water. You know, I try to drink two bottles of these. This is a liter. And two of these, two full bottles of these is eight um, glasses of water a day. So at work, I'm just chugging water and peeing a lot because I'm upping my water intake. And that's all I really drink anyway. So another reason why your hair may be dry is just coloring too often. Like, if you're coloring like back to back to back to back to back that's probably one of the reasons why your hair is dry so it's best to I mean it's okay to color but don't color like so frequent like before I when I got my diva cut in May of 2015 I had dyed my hair red and it faded to a sandy brown and then my new growth was cu coming in and I can notice the colored ends they weren't curling right they were dry they were brittle they were just falling apart. My hair was literally shit. So when I went to get my diva cut, you know, she cut and then I grew the rest of that brown out. And then I want to say a few months later, I dyed my hair jet black because that's it. And I'm sure most of the black is grown out. I'm back to my natural hair color. So that's good. Um, I'm just not going to color no time soon because if you're just piling that color on one color on another color, slim that's probably most likely why your hair is dry so be conscious of coloring uh, another is that you don't deep condition i know naturals that don't deep condition at all and i just be looking at them like for real like deep condition your damn hair it's not that hard shampoo condition deep condition boom it's not that hard please Deep condition your hair. Your hair needs that. You, how, your how, your wash day lays the foundation of how your hair is going to look, how it's going to feel, and how it's going to perform. If I stop deep conditioning, you think my hair going to perform like this? No. So just deep condition. Another reason why your hair may be dry. Drying ingredients such as the bad alcohols. Not the good alcohols, but the bad ones. Um, sulfates and silicones. I know naturals who hair thrives on silicones. You know, whatever works for you works for you. These are just my tips to help. And I know a lot of naturals that do use sulfates in the drying bad alcohols. And that's why your hair is dry. So another reason why your hair may be dry is just you're just overwashing it. That is another reason. Like for me, Let's say I wash my hair on a Monday, and then I'd wash again on a Tuesday, then a Wednesday, then a Thursday, then a Friday. If I wash it every day, hell yeah, my, my hair gonna be dry. My hair gonna be like, Jasmine, you need to stop. My hair is really gonna be yelling at me because I'm washing it too much. Wash your hair at the most every three days. You don't need to be washing it every day. Just every few days, okay? So another one is using heat styling tools. That doesn't mean using a diffuser on high heat. That does not count. Heat styling tools such as you're blow drying it like all the time. You're flat ironing it all the time. Just mainly blow drying to straighten and flat ironing to straightening. You know, heat styling tools. So the ways you can combat dryness is just deep conditioning not using sulfate free shampoos and what i mean by sulfate free shampoos like the shea moisture sulfate free shampoo the camille rose sweet ginger cleansing rinse 
Diva Curl No Poos, you want a sulfate-free shampoo because, like I said, sulfates are drying. Um, when you're rinsing out the conditioner or deep conditioner out of your hair, please, for the love of God, do not be rinsing that shit out with hot water. You need to be rinsing that out with lukewarm to cool water to seal in the moisture from the treatment. Duh. So, another one is just trimming your ends. If your ends feel dry or they feel like whatever or they're just splitting, trim it. Boom. And um, just knowing your hair's porosity is another good way to figure out what your hair likes but keep it moisturized and what doesn't. Um, you know, your hair may feel dry. You know, let's say you're just doing a protein treatment. And, um, I'm gonna just give y'all, like, my story. I, when my hair was shorter, I had protein overload. It felt like straw. It felt like mush. It felt disgusting. It just took forever to get my hair right. So, if you're overdoing a protein treatment, that may be the reason why your hair feels dry. So, that's that. And another thing to combat dryness is just, when you go in the store... And you're looking at ingredients like, hmm, I wonder what's in this today. If the first ingredient ain't water, put that shit down and find something else. You, you For a moisturizer and a leave-in, that first ingredient has to be water. Okay? Water. That's what the first ingredient has to be. Because, you know, there's so many products that claim to moisturize your hair. That's full of shit. You, there's so many claims out there on what this is supposed to do and that's what it's supposed to do. Nah, boo. If that first ingredient ain't water, don't, don't even, don't even put that in your hair. Like, I'm so serious. Don't do it. And, you know, you want moisture, you want sealants. You know, like oils and butters. The almond jai butter is a good one. The curl enhancing smoothie. The Eden Body Works Curl Defining Cream. Those are good heavy butters and moisturizers that will keep the moisture in your hair and just doing the lock method so that's pretty much it those are all the little tips and stuff i have in my phone but um i hope this video helped some i hope this video pretty much answered what my winter regimen is and if i miss something that that's also a key you know leave a comment let's help each other out because you know we're all in this journey together so i want to say thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe leave a comment or two and i will see you all in another video bye